Hello friends, you are watching iTech Share, a channel to connect, discuss and share. You might be aware of that we are in React journey. Today we are going to explain about the folder structure of our React project. So do subscribe this channel, click on the bell icon for the notification and keep watching this series. For any application, it's important to know where are the files resides and which file is important to make any changes. In that way, we'll get that idea about the structural architecture of that application. In this session, we are going to discuss about that. If you remember that earlier, we have used this create react app command to kickstart our react application. And as a result, we got into this kind of folder structure, which is having node modules, public folder, src. Let me close this thing, src folder and post that we got some of the files like git ignore package lock dot json package json and readme so overall this is the structure that we have got post creation of our application so guys let's start with this uh, node modules thing what is this node modules this is one folder which is having all the dependencies react dependencies and node.js modules you are never going to interact with these things day in and day out. Whenever you are just going to import some things, in that case only uh, things will get related to this one. What I mean to say that you are not going to code anything inside this one. Okay. So these are all the additional files. Let's move on to git ignore file. As the name suggests, it's telling you that git please ignore. That means whatever you have mentioned over this file. While committing the changes, Git will ignore this thing. Just think from this perspective that you don't need to push the build or testing coverage into your GitHub, right? This file is coming as a by default some of the things and you can go ahead and, and make the changes. Next thing is the package.json. This is a metadata file which contains the dependencies and scripts required for the project. So in every application is telling you that these are the things that you need to run your application. Okay. You can see here the name, the metadata as I have created during this application react running is mentioned over there. What is the version? What are the dependencies by default it is coming? Okay. So like this way it is going to update the things over here. Now this is a public folder. Here you can see, as the name suggests again, the public means is viewable by all of us, right? So this index HTML is your bootstrap page or what I can say that your page to the outside world, right? So everyone who are going to, I mean, access your application, they will first get into this index.html page. This is your parent page, I would say. So let me now do one thing so here you can see the page is running the default page right and now relate these things with this index.html this icon and all is getting loaded from this uh, public folder only let's say fab icon that ico and then uh, logo 192 all this stuff here you can see that uh, there is one of warning or alert message is there like you need to enable javascript to run this app that means whenever you are running your application and if there is a no javascript enabled in your browser so it will give you that alert message okay and there is a dvd named root uh, inside this root dvd every game is going on i'll discuss you in details Inside this SRC folder, we should get start with this index.js. Okay. So earlier what we have discussed is index.html. There you have seen this div dot div id root. Right. Now see how it is getting related to other files and folders. Here inside this index.js, you can see we are accessing that root dvd this root dvd we have defined inside this index.html correct 
what is this app let's move on to app.js to find this out you can see here here this is the function the default function the name of this default function is app okay and inside this every magic is going on here you can see the changes i made in my last episode this one right welcome to our react class this message i have mentioned over here so whatever changes you are doing this file that is getting displayed over the browser so again i am trying to make this simple for you first point of interaction is this index.html there you can see this dyd root come to this index.js where we are accessing this root inside that you can see this app and that means you have to go to this app.js inside this app.js the app function and that is getting export and ultimately it is getting displayed over the browser okay i believe you got these things along with that if you can see here there is like index.css so where you can get all the style statement for your page whatever change you will make here that will get reflect in your browser and there are something like uh, test.js i mean i'm not going to discuss all this stuff so for now just concentrate on this index.html index.js and your app.js